What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my 5.8 quart 1700 watt Kasori air fryer. Today, for you guys, we're gonna make some barbecue legs and thighs, barbecue chicken. Got some baby rays in the house, y'all. It's gonna be so easy. And welcome to another air fryer recipe for newbies, page 30 actually. So this is gonna be real easy, guys. Three ingredients that I'm gonna use, or what is it? Three or four, whatever. So I know I'm gonna use some smoked paprika, and that's optional. Um, I'm going to use my go-to, which is pink salt, um, black pepper and garlic, and I'm going to use my Evo oil sprayer, which happens to have avocado oil in there, olive oil will be fine, and then we're going to finish it off with some baby ray. So first, I'm going to hit it with some oil so that my seasoning will stick. In my mind, that's what I feel happens. Link will be in the description to my evil oil sprayer, guys. If you don't have an oil sprayer, you don't have to, well, if you want to be one and done with an oil sprayer, well, you can experiment with the ones on Amazon. I'm telling you, you, you it's going to probably mess up at some point. But if you want to be one and done, get an evil oil sprayer. I have a stainless steel one because I think that's pimp-like, but any evil oil sprayer would do you good. All right, so let's get some pap some smoked paprika on there. Pap regular paprika will be fine. This is just for coloring, and this is just this is optional. You don't have to do this, but adds a little flavor, but it definitely adds a nice color to the final presentation. Of course, my go-to seasoning. Yeah, I know that's the bomb. And we're just going to mix that up, guys. Now, feel free to use your seasonings, but if you want to know seasonings, follow me. But if you have your own seasoning for your baked chicken that you, you and your family love, go for it. Look at that, y'all. And just for some extra credit, y'all, I'm in the mood today. I'm going to add some of this tiger sauce to the mix. Some of my latest hot sauce I'll be using. It's pretty good. I had an extra kick to it. Alright guys. Let's out my air fry basket. Let's load it in. Alright guys. So what do we got? We got three drums and two thighs. Alright let's get in the air fryer. Alright guys. Let's do... Let's do 380. We're going to do 20 minutes and we're going to, with this air fryer, it has a um, like an alarm. So we're going to set it to alarm at 10 minutes. Link will be in the description to this air fryer. My favorite air fryer. Definitely check it out. It's pimp like. Looking good. Let's go ahead and give it a flip. Smelling fantastic, guys. Alright, guys. Let's get it in. And I'm going to set another timer for five minutes so that we can, we'll start adding the baby rays at that point. Alright. Alright, guys. The alarm should go off any second now. There you go. So it's alerting me that I set a timer and I need to shake or turn or whatever. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna get the baby rays on at this point. Y'all hear that? You thought it was a deep fryer. Nope. Now you could do this however you want. You could take it out and really get them good, but I'm just gonna brush them on right here. Flip them over after five minutes and brush the other side. Give it another five minutes. So we'll do like a total of 25 minutes, which is, um, you know, this probably, if I was doing them naked, meaning with no sauce or whatever, I'd probably do 22 minutes. So a little extra to caramelize the barbecue sauce, which I ain't mad at. All right, let's get these bad boys back in the air fryer. All right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to increase the time to 10 minutes. Put another timer for five minutes. Now 
Now that's what I'm talking about, guys. We're just going to give this a flip. And I'm going to check it at three minutes. I don't want to overdo them. But I'm going to flip them over, um, give the other side some baby rays, and then check it at three minutes. I may go the full five or may not. We'll see. All right, guys. I'll let them go for the full five minutes, and we are done. Looking and smelling fantastic, guys. See how easy that was? 25 minutes. Probably could have, you know, in the description, I'll just do 24 minutes. We'll do, we'll do 12 and 12. Just, yeah, that's just the easiest way. 12 and 12. All right. And by the way, if this is the first time or second time you've made legs and thighs, I always suggest you use a meat thermometer. I've made this a million times between 2016 and now. I know I'm good, but for you, for your first, second, or third time, till you get used to it, just use a meat thermometer just to be sure. And link will be in the description to my meat thermometer, by the way. Thought we were done? Wrong. We're not. Got some frozen broccoli. We're going to air fry this. I'm going to fill it just enough for like a single layer. Hopefully it could sop up some of that barbecue goodness. That's not that fun. Yeah, that, that that should be that should be enough. Give it a spray. Don't have to do that, but I like to do it. Keep my veggies looking moist. Gonna put my go to on it. Like I said, link will be in the description. Now you could have taken it out. I mean, before you put it in here, you could have put it in a bowl and you know make sure all of it got the oil and seasoning, but we're it's all good. I'll go ahead and have fun with you guys and use the preheat for broccoli. 300 for 10 minutes. Turn on my alarm for five because we're gonna shake it then. I'll be back with a plate, y'all. Shout out to my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button before my videos even finish. All right, guys, you saw the paper towel go up. So you know that means it's time to eat. I did add some tiger sauce to my broccoli just to keep everything uniform, sort of. I got uh, the final leftovers of my coleslaw up there. But... Without further ado, it's time to eat. Let's let's get the healthy stuff out the way. Let's have some broccoli. Air fryer broccoli, nice and crunchy, y'all. Please have a bite. Ten minutes from frozen. Could be you. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. That tiger hot sauce gave it a nice little kick. Just a couple dabs. Perfect. Have some slow me, y'all. You got it. Perfect every time. All right. Enough having you wait. Please take a bite, please. Let me see where y'all want it. Some of y'all get it there. Some of y'all get it there. All right, now it's my turn. Mmm. Twenty-five minutes. This could be you. Mmm. 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 all that juice behind it and guys if you can you know let season your meat let it marinate overnight it'll taste even more fantastic still tastes great now but you marinate it boy i have a thought with me y'all you got it look at that y'all mm 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 Mm. 
Y'all bite with nothing but skin, y'all. Mm mm mm. So juicy. Mm. It's just too good. Well, guys, as always, I'm going to sit down and enjoy this. Page 30 of my online air fryer recipe for newbies is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Share it with your friends and family. This was just so easy. And again, you don't have to use my seasonings. If, you, if you've made barbecue chicken before, which I, a lot of you probably have, Continue using the seasons that you have. Just use the time and temps that I have. Or if you want to try mine, don't be afraid of success. Try it out because you know I won't lead you wrong. My stuff be the bomb. Whether you have this air fryer or any air fryer, I'm talking an instant vortex or power XL vortex, any of the Kasori's, whatever you got, consider joining my air fryer group. It's called Air Frying with Doug. We have over 61,000 members. We'd love to see what you're making in your air fryer. Or if you're looking for some ideas, do a search and get recipes. Guys, if you're on Instagram, check me out on Instagram, Cooking with Doug. Other than that, hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Doug.